If the White Sox are going to make a run, looks like they're playing a little bit better here. They've won yeah. 13 in the last 20. Michael Kopech's going to have to be a part of it. What, what do you see when, when, you, when you watch him dial it up? Well, he's got electric stuff. There's no question about it. The high spin fastball really plays the top of the zone. Lately, though, too many walks. Okay. And the velocity's down. You said, what's going on with the velo? Check this out here. He's thrown more innings already this year than he has in the past four years. Of course, he had Tommy John surgery, opted out of the COVID season, worked out of the bullpen. So he's at that point in the season now where you start showing some mileage where you're not used to traveling this far in terms of innings. Let's take a look at the difference in his fastball this month because this month he has a six ERA. I said his fastball plays well when it's up, but check out the fastball command here. When that fastball gets hit, usually he's missing the target right across the other side of the plate right there. Nice job by Baez to get on top of that one. See the velo there at 92. You know, Michael typically should be sitting at 94, 95 and getting upper 90s when he wants that two strike fastball. Once again, fastball is set up for inside here to Polanco. You get a leak back over the plate that actually had run on it. It's not really what Michael wants on his four seamer. And again, 94. We're not seeing upper 90s this month for Michael Kopech. That makes it even more hittable. Max Kepler, another lefty here. Target, you want it away? You want to keep Max away? He's a dead pole hitter. Let's see if he hits his target right here. Oh, see that leak back over the plate? Yep. That's in Max Kepler's wheelhouse. He's not going to miss that heater. Middle, middle, 94, squares it up. One more time here on fastball command. This is where he lives. When he's upstairs, 98, forget about it. Even DJ LeMahieu tries to climb the ladder. You're not getting on top of his heater at the top of the zone. So I think it plays so much better when he gets it upstairs. Whether it's elite velocity or not, he's got enough to get hitters out. But again, he's not getting the difference right there. You see, it's not quite at the top. When it's that low, that's actually not low, but lower than where he wants, then it becomes hittable. Here's Kepler again. It's a different pitch, but again, it's not top rail fastball where Michael really, I think, wants to get the baseball. The numbers show it too. I checked out about an equal distribution. When he gets it three feet, that's really top shelf fastball. Three feet and above. Look at the opponent's average, 134. But when he gets it down in the zone, that becomes a lot more hittable, right? right? Makes sense. But again, looking at his velocity here, month by month, this is a guy who hit 97 above 46 times in May. He's done that twice this month. 